afternoon depending where you are i've got my coffee i hope you do too good morning tim good to see you here today i, I bet that you've got mary with you too and say hello to her for me um we have a really fun one for you today ryan hartman is from inside real estate and he's going to tell us about a topic that i think we all want to know about a way that we can actually get prospects to chase us as opposed to us having to chase them right what salesperson doesn't want that that's just that's like that's gold right uh, so before we start, just wanted to remind everybody, um, <clears throat> we'd love it when you ask us questions as, as we're, we're going through these, because we really want to answer things that matter to you. So click on um, where the little bar, bar that says questions, right next to it, you'll see a little gray triangle. Click on that triangle and that will open up the box and then just type in a question, hit send, and uh, we'll do our best to answer it if, if we can. So welcome everybody. Thanks for coming today. Thanks to some of our regulars that come in every morning. Morning, Phil. I love your comment this morning. Um, anyway, so let's just introduce uh, Ryan. So he is from um, Inside Real Estate, or, or, and they have a product called KV Core. Uh, he's the VP of Marketplace and Engagement. So he, he works a lot with folks like us trying to figure out what are the best ways to take advantage of platforms like his and others. Um, KV Core is a product available to brokers. So if there's any brokers on the calls today and you like what you're seeing, this is a product that you could you could use for your own business as well as offer to your agents if it's something that you think is of interest. So, um, and with that, I, Ryan, you have to tell us about where you're sitting right now. I love this story about where your office is. We're all getting very creative. Tell us about that. It's really funny. Well, I, I have a converted school bus, an RV, uh, that we've parked in my backyard. We've retired her. So uh, she's <laughs> kind of our guest space, but I use it as an office. And uh, it's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. You're like the Partridge family. I, I, I'm, I'm dating myself, but I know there's people on the call that remember the show, the Partridge family. They drove around in a big bus and was all painted. And David Cassidy was there, my big favorite when I was a kid. Yeah, anyway. we, did that with the, we did that with the kids for a little while. We got that a lot. Yep. Did you? Yeah, I bet. You were definitely the Partridge family. It's so funny. Did you, are you singers too? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No singers? No, I don't want to prove it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. I won't make you prove it. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, um, oh yeah, Mary says yes. She loves David Cassidy. I'm with you, Mary. You're you're about my age, I'm sure. Anyway, so you got to start us off on this thing. This this topic fascinates me. What does that mean? You can get people to chase us instead of us chasing them. How does that work? We all want to be able to do that. Well, sure. I, I think the typical sort of uh, where we've been the last 10 years or so is we, we run ads online. We have lead sources uh, like Zillow, Realtor.com, or we're running uh, pay-per-click ads. And a lot of the frustration with these type of online leads is that you find yourself chasing people, uh, trying to call them, email. Uh, and a lot of times you get ghosted, you don't get a reply. Uh, so the, the title of this kind of touches on a, a pain point and presents a solution uh, to that issue where if you kind of uh, configure your marketing in a way and use these different channels, you could get people who calling you instead of you calling them. Uh, but chasing sounds more fun. <laughs> it does. I know. I love it. They'd be like, please, 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 let me buy a house from with you yeah. or sell a house with you. Who doesn't want that as a salesperson? That's that's heaven, right? Yeah. All right. So tell us, tell us about this. So what, what does that mean? Like, like, let's get into the details. And just for the audience's sake, um, everything that Ryan's showing us today, while you can do it through KV Core, you really don't have to, right? There's ways to do this with other platforms or even on your own if you want to. Is that correct, Ryan? Yeah, every, everything I'll talk about is Googleable, um, and as you, I'm sure you guys have seen, there are plenty of providers out there the, in the real estate ad ad technology space who could execute a lot of these strategies for you. Uh, gotcha. Okay, so jump in. Tell us about this. Okay, so you know, uh, this, as part of this presentation, I've done it a few times. But I like to start out with a little bit of theory. Uh, the first of which being that uh, those leads aren't really leads yet. I think that sets us up for failure when we think, oh, I'm, I'm generating leads here. Uh, and I, I, I more like to think of them as contacts going into your database. Uh, so what happens is uh, most agents end up cherry picking, following up on those those people who are most ready to go right now. Um, who do reply to, to your initial emails, texts, drip, drip campaigns, but you let the other 90% or so forget about you. Um, I do the same thing. It's hard to be consistent, especially when you're, you're out showing houses all day you know, and, and doing other things. Um, so what happens is uh, most of your people, 80, 90%, they end up working with another agent um, who ends up being top of mind when they're ready to buy or sell because that other agent has done some of the things we're about to talk about. Uh, and usually, you know, when you look and you look at the top producers, the people doing 
you know, 90% of the business, the 10% doing the 90% or the 80-20, it's usually uh, that top producer who's taking a longer term view of things and investing in a multi-channel approach. Well, and, the, you know, you've got an audience with you, Ryan, today that's, you know, there's people that come in every day onto this chat and I'm sure are doing other webinars as well that are really trying to figure out what that means to take the longer term view of things. They, they're recognizing that while this is kind of a weird, scary time, it is a great time to set yourself up for future, you know, for future success. So it's great. This is really good timing for you, that, that you to explain to them how to do that. Yeah, I've been excited to see how many people have adopted video in the last month or two. I'm sure you have Absolutely. too. Yep. Yeah. We've all been talking about this a long time, and and it's um this is the time uh, to really figure it out. So a little bit more theory. Um, uh, sending paper trick, paper click, paper click traffic to squeeze and landing pages. Um, it's kind of been the model with with kind of us, you know, with KB Core and other similar platforms, where that's our main way to get leads. We get a, a click to go to the website, some kind of pop up or some kind of form shows up, person gives you the information. Um, and that worked really well, actually, probably about a decade ago, you know, in the early 2010s, late 2000s, that was, you could really, really dominate if you were one of the few people in town who were doing that well. Uh, but where we've gotten to as we move into the 2020s is that uh, everybody's got these tools. Most most people have them. Um, so uh, so I have the graphic of boring, uh, the old way most leads think of you. What's happening is, is that you are doing the same exact thing as everybody else. So when they're getting your drip email, they're getting it from the three other realtor websites they were on a few minutes ago. Uh, and then the new way, what I'm talking about, I had a little fun when I made the slides. With, Bro, I'm seeing your stuff everywhere. You must be killing it. Uh, and there's ways with this, this, this to set up uh, multiple channels to make it seem like uh, you're everywhere, even if you're on a small budget. You know, so to those few people who are in your fold, your sphere, uh, they start to see you out of the corner of their eye everywhere they look online or in their email inbox, uh, you know, in different places. And and you're the top of mind agent who they are going to want to reach out to. We call it surround sound marketing, where you're just you every. Yeah. Okay. I like great. It. Yeah. So solution, uh, you know, you, you're going to continue to consistently generate those fresh opportunities. I think that's right. Um, if you have a channel like Facebook ads or Google that you can get a dollar click or two dollar click and you can generate a lead for under 10 bucks, the math is fabulous in this industry. It is so exciting. Like when you really look at the numbers and you convert only 1%, um, there's, there's tons of opportunity. Um, and you're going to want to keep qualifying and disqualifying and working with that low hanging fruit. Uh, but what I'm going to talk about today is kind of how to layer on a little bit more on the conversion side of things uh, to get more of those people talking with you over the longer term and engaging with you uh, when they become ready um, to work with you. Gotcha. Okay. So, um, so multi-channel, uh, as you've probably gleaned already, uh, basically it refers to the practice of interacting with customers using a combination of indirect and direct communication channels. You're surround sounding them. Uh, and then the rest of what we'll talk about here will be about showing how it might look for specifically for a real estate business with some specific examples. Okay, and we're going to look at what those multi-channels are <clears throat> so you can help us understand what that means. Yeah, yes. Got it. Okay, good. So the components that we'll talk about today, and I think this kind of boils it down into a nice succinct package. Uh, I, we've actually uh, delivered this uh, I've delivered it myself in a number of different businesses inside and out of real estate and delivered it for customers with nice results. And that is uh, Facebook and Instagram lead ads. I'll talk about what lead ad means in, in particular in a minute. Uh, Google pay-per-click ads, which I think most of us are familiar with. Uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram video retargeting. So now we're getting a little fancy. Uh, we're going to show mm -hmm. some videos to people after they leave our websites. Uh, branded Google display retargeting on Google's display network. And then we'll talk a little bit about some of the other stuff we're already doing, like property alerts, smart campaigns, uh, you know, drips, and how they fit into a system like this. Why don't you just, for one second, just explain what a retargeting is, because some sure. people may not have heard the concept before. It's a really, it's it's really how you do what you're talking about, right? But explain what that means. Sure. And what uh, it might be like if you were getting retargeted, because we, we all have that, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. The, a simple version is uh, you visit a website, maybe you visit Amazon, Walmart, um, you leave, and then the pair of shoes that you were just looking at uh, starts to show up in an ad. So uh, the underlying tech is that you're getting cookied or pixeled, uh, you know, on that website. And then through the ad network that the business is using, they're able to say, hey, I want to show this ad to anybody who is on my website. Um, and it could get really sophisticated. You could target people who are on a certain amount of time, who visited certain pages. 
watched a certain percentage of a video uh, and really have a lot of fun with this. Well, and, and I know some agents have talked to me and they said, you know, that seems kind of creepy. Like, should I really yeah. do that? And, and I guess we could all argue, is it creepy or not? <laughs> but yeah. the truth is it happens all the time. And so just because you haven't done it before doesn't mean that your clients haven't been retargeted and frankly probably doesn't mean that you yourself haven't been retargeted right so it can be done in a way that's still tasteful and and sort of anonymous even though it's something that's expanding the presence so that your brand is everywhere right yeah and you could be as transparent with it about it as you'd like to be you know uh mm -hmm. i don't i'm not sure that me saying something and then apple recording my conversation and showing me the ad feels too good <laughs> that's like the right. extreme it feels like it happens, right. um, but if it's somebody visits your real estate, yeah. they, they visit your real estate website and then they see an ad from you thanking them for being on your site, it's a little, it's transparent, um, and and you're not really, you're not hurting them. Uh, and then the other way to handle that that objection is to say, well, if you really believe that what you're providing is good for the world, you know that that you're that that you're a really good agent, um, then you, then then you're helping them <laughs> by by staying in front of them. Right, yep. it, but the point is, it happens regularly because yeah. again. It, a lot of we're not necessarily completely conscious of the fact that we're being retargeted but the truth is we are so anyway okay let's keep going yeah that's a good point i mean pretty much any site you visit you're, you're being retargeted these days um yeah so first first uh uh kind of channel we'll talk about is facebook and instagram pay-per-click lead generation and we lump facebook and instagram together because they both work out of the same ads dashboard at facebook so you're going to run these ads from the same the same place um, and uh, uh, how we like to do it is we use lead forms that generate a name, email, and phone, and it's the name, email, and phone that Facebook has on file. Now, I don't, okay. usually the image on the right side, it might have been the way we copied our slides over, usually the image mm -hmm. on the right side there slow, shows the form being filled out, um, mm -hmm. but I, it might just, it's okay, it's an animated GIF, um, but basically it fills a form up, name, email, phone, Facebook has on file, the person submits, and they go to your website. So gotcha. uh, you you may be able to click, I'm not sure if it'll work, but the left button where it says Facebook example, right there. Yeah, let me try that. Let's see if it brings up brings up the ad in the browser for us. Oh, so this is yeah. content. Is available yeah, right now. you know, I'm sorry. Usually I'm the presenter and it and it I wants me to be logged in, I'm pretty sure at this point. There you go, it did it yeah, for us. <laughs> what did, did you it, see it? it? Oh. It showed us the ad inside your slide where you were. Um, oh. Okay, did I, this one is in the, Inst the Instagram one worked. We can look at this yeah, if you want. There you go. So that's a good example if you want to play the video. Um, okay. I don't know how the video will work on GoToMeeting, but we'll give it a shot. Yeah. Oh. This is an example of an ad that they might see. Um, I really like this angle, by the way, a certain amount of acres, if you're not in a really urban area, but you're in a suburban or rural area, uh, offering a mm -hmm. list of properties with a, with a threshold on the size of the lot really works well. Mm -hmm. Just a little extra tip there. That's um, really cool. You know, it's funny, Brian. Yesterday we had um, some gentlemen from back at you, and they talked to us all about Instagram and a lot of different ways to work with it. So the, and one of the things we asked them to do is to come back with some examples. So here you go, guys. We got it the next day from someone else. That's awesome. Yep. And we're we're not on the phone here, but usually I think if you swipe up, that's where you would see the form. Um, and gotcha. then okay. if you, I think you had the preview in your slides when you went to it a second ago and you saw the little animated image that shows you the experience on Facebook. You can kind of see it there on yeah. the right. Mm -hmm. Yep, exactly. So when they click the learn more, pops up this there box. Yep. Mm -hmm. And what we find in that particular example is that a very high percentage of people just submit and go to the next field without changing any of that info. A small percentage will, but it's it's 95% or so or more. We'll, you'll get the accurate cell number that Facebook had on file. Um, that's so. awesome. Yesterday we were talking about Instagram and, and, and not so much Facebook was, was a focus on Instagram, but same concept. People said, well, so if I do all this and what do I get out of it? How do I, you know, how do I get a lead out of it? You just showed how you would do that, right? So if I, if that particular piece of land was interesting to me, if I clicked on that, then I would be able to get information. So it would be, in effect, it's like a, like a tiny, tiny version of your website, right? someone yep. sees a property that they like they can still ask for more information here just like they would in a in another kind of a format correct yep and the the friction is reduced um you know because it, it's all pre-filled for them um uh, and what right. we do what we do is we redire redirect them to the website with the property info or the list of properties and uh, just to keep in mind if you do this yourself you'll want to connect this to your crm um using 
something like Zapier.com uh, or connect, there's, there's apps out there that connect Facebook to your CRM. So. Um, Interesting. Okay. And, and, and not that we're trying to sell KV Core here because we're not, but if someone was working with you, you would do all that work for them, I assume? Yeah, we've built, we've built direct API bridges that eliminate the need for that third-party connector. So, um, gotcha. you know, I, I have a picture of our property boost there. That's an example of where we'll show your listing. It'll pop up the form, uh, take it in, take them to the listing on KV Core, but also inject that, that information into KV Core for follow-up. Uh, and and safe, with, you know. with the, the, the strategy behind this, um, again, not trying to sell KV Core, but just trying to understand if someone was going to do this on their own, yeah. um, do, you, do you generally recommend that they push their products or are their properties like this or their listings like this, or is there different types of content? Is it a mix of content? What do you yeah. guys suggest in terms of making their the, engagement the best? The three, the three types would be, I would always go to your listings first. Um, okay. If you have listing inventory, you're gonna get a really nice cost per lead on the listings. Um, we go a little okay. extra mile, we email the seller a report every day of the listing activity. Uh, and the reason I nice. bring that up is because if you do advertise your listings, it's an opportunity to say to your sellers, hey, we've had 50,000 impressions on this ad. I, I think it's time for a price reduction. It, it helps give you that ammo. Um, right, uh, the second, awesome. the second, Yeah. Uh, the second type would be a property list ad, like the one you saw with the acres right there. Um, mm -hmm. And the third type that we don't do for people, but that I always recommend is, is unique content. So if you can record a first time home buyer's video, uh, some kind mm -hmm. of free report, something like that, uh, that will go very well and help you on the conversion side of things if you can dis display your expertise in that content. Gotcha. So, okay, good. Yep. Okay, great. Yep. All right, let's go to the next one. Sure. Yep. So Google PPC contact generation, I've lost the word lead and swapped in contact um, and uh, right there. Um, and you can see, we've all seen these ads. Um, you go on Google, you search. And what's nice about these is that they're a bit more high, higher intent than Facebook. If somebody sees an ad on Facebook, you, they're being interrupted. They're, they're doing something else and they're just like, oh, that's a cool looking house. And they don't really have a lot of intent uh, when it comes mm -hmm. to searching for a property at that time. If somebody, goes to their computer and types in the Google Tampa, Florida homes for sale, um, there's more intent there. So what usually happens is you see a shorter path uh, to conversions. Usually you'll have a higher percentage of those people who are ready to hop in your car this weekend. Uh, and in general, they'll convert faster. At the same time, and they'll what, be a little more expensive. Yep. Can you explain what a PPC is? Again, some people I, have, if you haven't done all this crazy stuff, you don't know what all these buzzwords mean. What does that mean? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, uh, pay-per-click. So. You're literally paying every time somebody clicks to go to your website on the ad. Got um, it. So if I display it to a thousand people and only three people click, I'm only paying for the three people that actually do something that's going to get me closer to doing business with them. That's right. Yep. Gotcha. And okay. In, in most cases we see we see anywhere from about seventy cents up to two two fifty, depending on what market you're in, per click around North America. Okay. Yep. Okay. So that's really not a whole lot if you're you know if you. you and like, is it, is there any kind of benchmarks about what you should expect? Is it by the size of the market or how, how, how do you know that if you got three clicks and a thousand people were exposed to it, that's a good number versus someone else? Like, how do you know your ads are working? I guess my question. Well, well the ultimate determiner uh, is how many turn into commissions. Um, but the, the quick kind of thing you want to see is the conversion rate. How many are, are opting it? How many people who click become a lead in your system? And, and that's kind of one of the things KV Core, you, you get a KV Core for because we've, or any of these similar systems, we've kind of optimized the website to, and we know that a flat 10.5% over a large sample will opt in. Um, so before you spend your money on Google pay-per-click, make sure you have a website that's kind of laid out and designed to convert that traffic. Um, and then- Gotcha, so yeah, then that would be like what? So if I click through, then I would be providing like how how what what do you suggest for someone with a website that would help them convert those clicks? That someone that's got some interest, what would you what do you want to give them to make sure that you can hopefully turn so, them into a commission check at some point? So what we use is uh is is pretty simple. Um, it's just mm -hmm. log in to continue visiting. So we let them see a few properties and then okay. they give name, email. They give email and phone. Uh, phone is optional. Um, to go to the next page um, you could get a little more specific and have a, a landing page that says hey see all uh, new construction homes in Tampa um, 
and that will be just one page dedicated to that one specific list of properties. Um, so those are two. So so we we call them IDX squeeze pages, where you're it's kind of a page okay. that has all your IDX listings for that for that area, uh, and then they mm -hmm. click a few and a box pops up. The second type is a landing page where there's one box, and we we kind of provide both of these within our solution. Interesting. Um, okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. What, what doesn't work, and I just want to say this so that I save anybody listening some money. Uh, in most okay. cases, it doesn't work to drive a Google click to your homepage. Um, uh, okay. Yeah. In general, they're going to bounce off. You want to send them to a specific property list or a very specific offer. Um, and is that is that especially if the ad has a, a property in it that you would, if, if it, let's say I have one, two, three Main Street in the ad or like that land that you just showed us? Yep. Would it, if someone clicks there, do you take them to the listing detail page of that particular listing, ideally, or do you take them to something that's sort of in that same realm? So from Google, you could take them to a landing page that requires the email before they can see the information about the property. Um, that's uh -huh. going to work best if you have a coming soon or a, or some kind of interesting property. Uh, in most okay. cases, we're giving the property info first, and then we're mm -hmm. asking for the, the info to see more of the same. Um, you know, gotcha. to and so I, tell I bet if we ask, a lot of people on on the, the the call probably have sites that do this. I'm guessing. I, I'd be interested to hear, but I, mm -hmm. probably more than half, right? Um, yeah, you may not even know you have it, but you probably do. You probably do. <laughs> At least through your broker, a lot of brokers are providing this now. Gotcha. Okay, so tell us about retargeting here. Yeah. So let's get fancy. Um, so this is where it kind of goes. Uh, a little. This is where you have the opportunity to go a little bit past where most of your competitors are right now. Um, okay. So Google Display retargeting. As we said earlier, people visit your website. They're pixeled for follow-up. Uh, the way we're doing it is we're doing an animated banner ad, kind of like the one you see there. Um, uh -huh. We also we also do a number of different variations using. Uh, they call it responsive display. Um, but you'll see this is a good example. Um, and when the person leaves your site, they see this everywhere they turn across the display network. Um, mm -hmm. I'll explain the Google Display Network is sort of uh, it's millions of sites and what happens is is that people who own websites uh, they pretty they make a deal with Google and they drop a little piece of code on their website that mm -hmm. shows these banner ads so and then Google shares some of the money from the ad with the website owner um, so does, does that the fact that J Joseph is kind of shaking over there he's animated does that make does it draw our eye over to that and do you find better click-throughs on Ads like that as opposed to something that's just a static picture? Yeah, uh, we do a little bit um, with the caveat that uh, Google has this responsive display option uh, that's actually way easy to set up. And what you do is you feed it uh, headlines, uh, text, a uh, couple of different images, and it spins them into a bunch of different ad variations. Uh, oh. And what we found is even though we put in so much work in, into making this pretty fun image that brands us, a lot of times Google Google's uh, algorithm, their AI is able to figure out a more static ad that converts better. So what we do is we just mix them together because we want to have this branded kind of our face and a nice pretty thing uh, alongside mm -hmm. the the more uh, the thing that might get a higher click through and is more direct on the offer. So gotcha. Awesome. Yep. Okay. Let's look uh, at video targeting. This is cool too. Yeah. Uh, if you want to click one, the the, the simple what this is is it's just like what we just said but it, it'll show an ad on uh, youtube or facebook if you've ever been on youtube and you have to skip the the ad that shows up uh before mm -hmm. you watch your video um mm -hmm. this is pretty easy to pull off and do uh, you do it right from google adwords you do a video campaign and uh the type of ad that we've been kind of advocating and delivering is an ad where you say hey thanks for visiting my website come on back and search now so i have some examples there if you can want you to click on that and see if that'll if we can play it real quick let's see what yeah. happens oh yeah yep. to youtube let's see. okay Thanks for searching with Terry LeClaire at firstteam.com recently. If you would like to find a good deal in the Irvine area, head on over to the advanced search on the website. Go to the options tab and take a look at where you can check off foreclosures, short sales, and other specific property type options. When I click search here, I will quickly see all of the properties in that area that are listed as foreclosures, short sales, or other deal types right here. So head back over to firstteam.com and continue your search with Terry LeClaire right now. Cool, I love that, yeah. that's great. Yep, so um, I think the best the best version of this is you uh, saying, hey, thank you for visiting my website, and it's you on camera, uh, but mm -hmm. not everybody's 
you know, a lot of people are camera shy. So the next best would be to record on your screen uh, and remind them that they were on your website and highlight a, a fun feature. That's great. Okay. Yeah. And uh, what this can do, if you record yourself, it, they get to hear your voice. Um, you know what I mean? It, it, it builds mm -hmm. trust subconsciously. They get to know who you are. So. And is it better if you if you can get over the camera shy and get on film yourself? Does it matter? I think so. I think so. Because. We... Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, because what happens is you'll be out and about, you'll be at the store, you'll be at a party, and people are like, dude, I'm seeing your ads everywhere. I saw you on YouTube. And, and people just, you get this little kind of famous effect going. Um, yeah. And, you know, and people want to work. They, they think you're bigger, a bigger deal than you might be. There might only be five people seeing this retargeting ad. Um, but to them, you're, you're a hot shot. So everybody wants to be a celebrity, right? Why not? This is a good way to Why do not? it without spending yeah. thousands. Okay, good. Okay, tell us about this. Right, so um, so there are other, so we've done kind of the stuff on the ad platforms. Um, mm -hmm. There's some other things you could do that maybe your competitors aren't doing right now. Uh, okay. And this is sort of our suite in the marketplace at KV Core. I don't want to be too pitch heavy here, but everything I'm about to talk about, you can mm -hmm. do on your own. So a concierge yeah. services, that's having an ISA call and make sure that your leads are followed up on. That's kind of a, a channel or a follow-up method. Uh, voicemail drops, um, where a uh, we can now with KV Core, for example, automatically send a voice message that where the person's phone doesn't ring. So it kind of goes straight through as part of a drip campaign. It says, hey, thanks for visiting my website. Uh, it's, you know, it's Joe with one, you know, with company. And uh, so that would be another channel you can use. Uh, personalized video follow up with something like BombBomb. Well, tell me about voicemail though. So who did that? So I, you, this is all connecting all the different dots. So if someone comes to my website, Yep. And I've been able to capture their information because I've gotten it from Google or Facebook. Then I can, I have their information and then it'll call, the system will call their number and leave this for them automatically without you having to touch any of that? Correct. Yeah. You uh, you record it right in our, our platform. You just record the message. Um, and it's really cool. You could, you could have like one on day one, mm -hmm. day seven. I think a fabulous use for this is your past clients. Just mm. check in on them, every, check in on them every quarter. Um, yeah. You know. Happy one year anniversary, things like that. That's awesome. So you don't even have to do it. It sounds like you're calling them, but you're really not. The system's doing it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, that's and great. I want one of those. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And there's lots of services. If you Google that voicemail drop, you'll you'll, you'll see lots of services that'll help you execute this. We've kind of just baked it in so it's a little easier to pull off. Gotcha. Um, okay. Um Personalized video follow-up, again, like the retargeting, uh, sending videos as part of your drips is a good thing to do. Bomb bomb's a big one. Um, mm -hmm. we're, we're actually working on an integration there. Um, automated search alerts. Uh, I, I think here's an opportunity that most of us have, our, have access to with the tech stack we have now, uh, mm -hmm. is the ability to set everybody up for an automated search alert. But I see a lot of agents forget to do this. Um, mm -hmm. You're leaving a lot of money on the table by not doing so, in my opinion. You know, it's it's a nice way to kind of stay in touch without a generic message. You're sending something interesting, properties. Um, so we've set it up so those are kind of triggered automatically through the system, okay. so you don't have to remember to do it. And we um, we've actually, um, for those that have been on the call before, we've learned how you can do that through your MLS system, yep. through your website. There's a lot of different ways to do automated search alerts, even a product called Listing Book. If some of you have that through your MLS, lots of different ways to do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. To make this very simple, you could run a simple Facebook ad that says, hey, I'll send you a list of uh, all the all the um, uh, new construction homes every week. Private message mm -hmm. me on Facebook. And then when you get the, the private message, just go into your MLS. So you can do this in a very affordable, low tech way as well. Mm -hmm. OK. Yep. And then I had smart campaigns there. That's just the a smart campaign is something that kind of mixes all these together. Yep. Got it. OK. And then, uh, I, I usually have in my other channels here, uh, I have my favorite lead generation, me lead generation method. It's super old school, but it works great. I used to put these at pizza shops in Philly. Um, so it's, a, it's a business card bobblehead doll. Uh, you put a text call to action or a website URL on the back side of your card, and you just you have a little fun putting that in local shops. Um, other sure, channels- It have to be open, which we're still not there yet, right? But that's still a really fun idea. That's, that's awesome. a good point. And what, yeah. what you're doing here is, so think about it. They're seeing you in your local market on on YouTube. They got to skip that ad because you keep popping up. 
you know, they screen you on Facebook. And now you go to the convenience store down the street and you there's bobbleheads right there. So you 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 really seem like you're the guy to work with because you're everywhere, you know. You're literally everywhere. That's funny. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. Um yeah, thanks for talking to me today. Uh just some extra resources up on the screen there. Um we have our uh our virtual training summit, which we've been doing all month, uh two months now. My voice is starting to hurt. Uh but if you go to a training summit, there's actually a recording, there's actually a um a see all replays link you can register for upcoming sessions but we've probably got about 50 sessions uh and one of them is a longer version of this content today if you dig through and look for multi-channel um gotcha uh, okay and then we have our facebook group it's it's about 40,000 people right now so inside real estate.com slash facebook group and then if you're curious at all about kv core we've got a link there where you can go and, and watch a demo and, and learn more about that so they, these are great resources. I know at, at some point it, for the people on the call, it almost gets like there's too many great free resources out there. But yep. as you can see from you know Ryan's conversation, like these guys have really thought through stuff um, and they're taking what are relatively, and I would maybe not even relatively, actually very complicated concepts about how do you do all this virtual selling that we've been talking about and showing you how to do it. I would guess in those, training classes, they, they get into even more detail than what we did today. This was kind of just a, a top line. Is that right, Ryan? That's correct. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And the Facebook group, it's just good to be around people that are being successful, regardless of if you use inside real estate or not. Um, there's another great um, session, by the way, that I, I'm hosting actually right after this today called um, The Huddle. And if any of you guys want to come over there, uh, it's through realtor.com. Actually, we're not doing it this week. I'm sorry. Next week we will be. But it's at uh, go to the realtor.com pro Facebook page, register for that, and then you'll get a, a notification when the Facebook Live is coming. And there's some really, really, really smart agents and brokers that get on that. And they just talk about, in again, plain English, real, real terms, how you get the right attitude and the right path to be really, really successful. So, um, okay, so now, oh, we have some good questions coming in for you. From Lauren, what's a reasonable starter budget to allocate? You know, to alloc allocate if you wanted to try Google Ads or Facebook Ads or things like that. Yeah, so uh, Facebook, if you're just going to do individual listings, uh, you can get started for as little as five dollars a day, um, and and probably start to generate a lead or lead or two a day. Um, mm -hmm. Google, you're pro you're probably going to want to be at about ten dollars a day, uh, so okay. about three hundred a month, because you want to set your daily budget to be. Uh, at or above what one lead might cost. Um, okay. You don't have so to, for, but in order to, yeah. No, go ahead. I was saying in order to make sure that you get get some solid flow, you want it to be there. And Dennis just made the comment, good to see that all this stuff is starting to blur with you too. It's <laughs> talking about me. It's like, it's true, Dennis, it's it's a lot, right? Um, I, you know, I think there's some some core tenants that we're seeing day after day after day after day. One of them is, you got to make sure that you're finding ways to get in front of and or stay in contact with your prospects and your clients and your past clients, right? Ryan, that's everybody's got to do that in whatever way they need to do that. You can do it through social media, you can do it through the phone, you can do it through this voicemail idea that we just saw. But that's a core tenant of everything that every person we've talked to has been telling us. A lot of it is just showing us different ways to do that. And then tomorrow, actually, um, well, that's actually a really good segue. We have um, a gentleman named Dan Stewart. Ryan, you probably know him from Happy Grasshopper. He's going to tell us what we should be saying right now. Right? So it's one thing to know you should call your client or contact them, but what do you talk to them about what you do? So he's going to give us some really good pointers on what's working right now, and also talk to us about what's you know what's going to work as we as we pull out of this, whenever that might be. I don't know. Um, and then Randall Standard on Monday uh, is got, he's from VoicePad. I don't know if any of you guys use that tool, but it's a great one too. And he's going to show us a way um, that we can turn daily virtual open houses into sales. So I think we've been, you know, historically we think of open houses as only the weekend, right? Because that's the way we've done it because people had to get off work and walk around. The truth is virtual open houses can happen anytime, any day. We're all home now, right? At least for right now. Um, so he's going to show us how to do that more often and to generate even more interest online by letting people walk through homes without literally having to walk through them themselves. So that'll be really great. Um, yeah. Anyway, um, and Lauren had one other question. Oh, what about having you do it as a starter budget? So I think, Lauren, are, are, Lauren, are you a broker or an agent? That's the first question. 
KV Core is only available for brokers at this point, correct, Ryan? Well, well, actually, agents and teams can sign up. Um, oh, they can. Okay. So we do have, yeah, we do have uh, solutions for them. Um, the okay. some of the stuff I talked about, uh, mm -hmm. our Facebook ads are two fifty a month. Our our Google is five hundred. Um, okay. And then we have some we have some bundles that we we've come up with to kind of mix all these into one one package too. Um, and does that include the placement of the ads as well as the creative development of the ads? Yeah, yeah. So okay. well, most of what you'll find in our marketplace, uh, we've tried to boil it down to push a button, get result. You know, so that so that you can continue doing the things that that are really generating revenue for you. you know? So Lauren's an agent. So would she be able to take advantage of that as an individual? Yeah, if she, if she has if she has KV Core. Um, so, okay, so you have to have the broker has to sign up for KV Core and then she can take advantage of it as an individual. Yeah, she could sign up for KV Core on her own. Um, oh, okay. But, okay. But we're not currently selling uh, our ads products outside of our our ecosystem, unfortunately. You're gonna have to have the whole program, and then you can get it. Because, yeah. I mean, for me, that as much as it's complicated to figure out how to build a, or how to put a Facebook ad, all that stuff, that stuff's relative. It's not that complicated. I've tried to do it myself. Yeah. For me, the hardest part is what do you say, and how do you make the ad effective? Right. That's where the magic comes in. I mean, yep. all of it's difficult if you haven't done it, let's be honest, but that's the part that's the most difficult to me is, okay, I I have an ad, but just because I have an ad doesn't mean it's any good. I need someone to tell me it's good, right? Or or that's not even that it's good, that it's proven to do something for me. Otherwise, what's the point? You're just wasting your money. So, the real secret is that even those of us who have our 10,000 hours in on this, we kind yeah. of fail as often as we succeed <laughs> with advertising. Well, yeah, and that's why they say marketing is an art and a science, right? If there is science to it. You learn what works and what doesn't, but you're never done. You just, you just keep testing and testing and testing, which I know when I say that to agents, they're like, oh my God, I'm never going to figure this out. <laughs> it's so complicated. But that's the truth about marketing. It is an art and a science. You, you just never know. And let's look at where we are right now. If you had done the kind of ads that work now, two months ago or three months ago, everybody would have been like, what the heck are you talking about, right? It would have made no sense. But today it's perfect. And two months from now might be terrible, right? You just never know. But that's why you need people like Orion who can continue to stay with you, I think. But anyway, okay. So for those of you that um, that are maybe new to this and like what you're hearing here, um, if you want to sign up and, and give us your email address in the question box, we will automatically register you for all these because they come in every day. Um, and then you can just you know tune in if you like it and if you don't, but you don't have to worry about registering for it. So if any of you would like that, just put your email address in there. Or if you want to do it after the fact, you can email it to me at marilyn at retechnology.com and we'll get you registered. Okay, so um, just want to make it easy for you to continue to take advantage of the smart folks like Ryan that we've been talking to. And then finally, if you haven't um, already done this, if you're new to us, um, go to youtube.com, type in RE Technology Inc. exactly the way I've got it on the screen there. Uh, hit the subscribe button and then that little bell next to the subscribe button just make that solid it'll turn probably blue or gray, gray or something on your screen and then every time we publish a coffee chat recording or a webinar recording like these kinds of things you'll get a notification so even if you didn't have time to watch it live you'll be able to get a chance at it at a second time we will also be sending you a recording of this um, for those that want to you know share it or watch it again as well so you'll, you'll get that in the email and if you'd like to, if you're not already a tech, RE Technology subscriber, first thing I would do is to check with your MLS, go into either where those dashboards are, or there's usually links, and or if you can't find it, just email someone over there and say, do we offer RE Technology? And you can get it for free through the MLS. If you don't do it that way, though, we'll give you a free three-month subscription because we want everyone to take advantage of conversations we're having with Ryan and many others. So go to retechnology.com. Up in the top right hand side, you'll see a small button that says create account. Click on that and then look for the monthly option and then type in one of these, um, the, the codes that you see there, COVID-19A, COVID-19B or COVID-19M, depending on what type of person or, you know, what your business is. And um, then we'll sign you up and you'll get you know, free exposure to all of this stuff. We have thousands of articles. We have a way for you to if you want to do research on a particular type of technology, I mean, you can type in CMA and all the CMAs available are all there, real easy for you to search. So we're trying to make it easy for everybody to take full advantage of real estate whenever they can, or technology, I should say. So with that, we'll uh, we'll tune out for today. Thank you so much, Ryan. This is really helpful to just see all the different ways that you know we can do better and better with virtual selling because everybody's trying to figure out how to do that these days, right? Yeah, um, yeah. 
And um, like you say, check out those links. Let me go back to those real quick, just to remind everybody where to go, because there's some really good stuff here. Go to you know insiderealestate.com forward slash training summit. I'd probably start there or the Facebook yeah. group. And um, just get, get familiar with all of these kinds of great uh, opportunities that are available to you that won't cost you anything. So with that, we'll tune out for the day. Thank you so much. We'll see you all tomorrow, hopefully. Uh, talking about what to say now with Dan Stewart from Happy Grasshopper. And um, everybody have a great day and go kill it. Thank Thanks, you. Marilyn. Thank you Bye. so much, Ryan. Okay. Bye. Bye.